All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. 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 Shai. Ba'ashem. Rekakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders. And Shalom. I'm taught to Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So we're just doing another brief uh, lesson, you know, going into this article that you see right here on the screen. And it's off of RT. And we're just going to get straight into it. In the heading, as you see, it reads, Israel launches a massive missile strikes in Syria. And I'm going um, to, you know, read some of it. You can let me know when to stop or when it's good. Well, yeah, you can read the whole article, oh, you know. Okay. But yeah, this is, hey, hey, man, this is the year of prophecy, you know, and World War Three is a huge part of prophecy, all right, um, along with the, the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast, okay? Uh, so go ahead, I it says Syrian air defenses were deployed to thwart an attack by the Israeli rockets. Syria states, SANA news agency reported, the bombing is reportedly being carried out by Israeli warplanes from Lebanese airspace. Syrian air defenses engaged missiles that Israeli warplanes are launching from outside the country's territory. SANA reported on Thursday, the bombardment appeared to go on for hours. With the first missile strikes reported at about 1.30 a.m. Damascus time on Thursday. Early Thursday morning, IDF spokesman Avici Avice Adrai confirmed that the Israeli army was continuing to hit Iranian targets in Syria, warning that any retali retaliation by Syrian forces would be met with extreme seriousness. Yep, yep. So so these rats, all right, these Amalekites, okay. Hey man, they they on their rogue missions, man. Which they which they basically already uh, said that they would do. You know, they said that they would carry out uh, uh missile strikes um in Syria, all right. Chiefly um aimed towards um the Iranian um inhabited areas. All right. And just when uh what Trump pulled out of the um the Iran uh nuclear deal well yesterday I believe yeah yesterday yeah hey Israel Israel um um carried out strikes and here it is again um today you know this article just came out they carried out more more strikes in Syria all right I forgot with who the guy was I was I, was, I read it the other day but basically uh Iranian basically said hey um um, that uh, they threatened to uh, assassinate Assad, basically, you know, basically to spill his blood, man. So these rats, man, they're they're uh, they're fulfilling prophecy, man, and they're 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 furthering the uh, the Lord's will of of the prophecy of what World War Three, man. All right, keep going on. Go ahead. If you have anything to, to add, too, just jump in. The SANA has released footage of Syrian air defense systems responding to incoming missiles. The Israeli strikes are seen as a continued retaliation to what Israel claims were some 20 rockets launched by Iran's quads force from Syrian territory into the Israeli-occupied part of the Golan Heights earlier in the night. The Israel, the Israel Defense Forces said its Iron Dome systems intercepted some of the projectiles and the, the reported attack resulted in no injuries. Around the same time, Syria state media reported that Israel shelled the city of Ba'ath in the northern Quanitra governorate. Tensions were ramped up in the region after U.S. President Donald Trump announced his country's withdrawal from the nuclear Iran from the Iran nuclear deal, which we were just speaking on. Then mm -hmm. this just happened, you know, just like we said just the other day. So the tensions are getting only increasing more and more. Yeah. Basically showing that you know the World War Three, that spirit of World War Three, man. You know, mm -hmm. prophecy this year, prophecy and. And what's the what's the, uh what is, what's the scripture say that it's gonna it's gonna happen to cause America to go into war basically? Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's Israel going renegade like you see. Well, I, I got I got the precept, you know, since you referred to it. Uh -huh. I'm I'm gonna pull both of them out, man, because this 
Well, I'll just I'll just uh, pull it out. Well, um, well, they pretty much say the same thing. Well, basically, if you read Jeremiah, which I'm gonna bring out Jeremiah 49 and 20, if you read Jeremiah 50 and 45, it shows you that Esau, which is Edom, is is uh, interchangeable with Babylon. All right, you know, with the Babylonians, with the with the uh, uh, the Chaldeans. Okay, and it also it also uh, shows you that what Psalms 137. Okay. Referring to who? 137, verse 7. All right. Re referring to who? The children of Edom. And then if you go to the eighth verse, it refers to uh, it refers to uh, them as old daughter of Babylon. Goes to show that this is Babylon uh, all over again with, with Esau being the, matter, the modern day uh, Babylonian king. Okay. So this is Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakodash, that he have taken against Edom, all right, you Edomites, so called white people, all right, and his purposes that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. You see that going on now. This is just said that in the article. The mm. least of the flock talking about you, right? All right, the, the 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 Israelis, they over there causing they causing the tensions to escalate even more. It's already it was already bad once Trump said what he said with the Iran nuclear deal. Now you got Israel shooting missiles. You know, yep. basically starting basically it's, it's like war already started up pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, the next thing that only could happen is that it escalates even more from here. Yep. Cause it's already it's too late for for um for a ceasefire. It's already fires shot off. Sure. How how many times have they has it been a ceasefire out there with Israel and the and the fucking Pakistan's and shit? And that should never last, yo. Mm -hmm. And now tensions are even higher than when the the last time they had all that going on with the ceasefires and and all the little different skirmishes going on. Sure. Uh, you want me to continue back in that article? Um, yeah, you can continue on and just just finish it off, you know, and then yeah, you know, just a little bit left. Full of yeah, kind. Yeah. The tensions were ramped up in the region after uh, region after U.S. President Donald Trump announced his country's withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal. Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu, a fierce critic of the accord, held the decision, which drew sharp condemnation from Europe. Russia, China, and other non-signatory countries. Yeah, because because um because uh, um America and and um and the rest, the Amalekites and Israel are allies. You know, America, Babylon, these Edomites over here, they do everything in the interest of the of the rats. All right, of the rats over there in our land. All right, of Benjamin, of Benjamin Net Netanyahu, and his and his Amalekite kind. Okay, and and what um so so what they're all on the same uh, side, and what you see you see by uh these rats these these so called Israelis okay, launching these missile these missile strikes, all right, and what Trump pulling out of the Iran deal, okay they're all in agreement, okay and that's why the Lisa the Fark which is talking about these so called Israelis man these rats these Amalekites. Hey Amen. They're gonna. They're gonna. Uh, 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 they're gonna. They're gonna. Uh, pretty much go. Uh, this event is, is gonna uh, cause them. Is gonna, event is gonna take place to cause them to pretty much. The Lord is gonna put the spirit on on them rats to, to go into the land of Iran. And then, and then what? America being allied with these with these Amalekites, man. They're gonna go right in uh, and, and follow them and back them up, which which is gonna spark this this war off, man. Hit hit a climax, okay? And um. I was just reading today, Saudi Arabia uh, stated who, who in which Saudi Arabia is also allied with, with the U.S., man. So they're all in the same mind frame, man. OK, so basically they said if, uh, if Iran continues to build uh, to build its nukes, then they're going to build theirs, man. You know, which goes right into prophecy. If I can pull this out real fast, mm -hmm. this is uh, this is jo uh, Joel three, verse nine. It says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, among among the heathen nations." Okay. Prepare war, 
Yeah, that's right, because the Most High is a man of war, all right? You know, so the Lord is putting that, that spirit of war on these nations, man, to fulfill his will and uh, for them to destroy themselves, man. You know, it says prepare war and, and, and take down Esau, okay? Because all these nations are ultimately going to uh, uh, join together and, and come and come together, all right, and, um, and, and, um, and destroy Babylon, okay? It tells you that in the book of Revelation. All right, it says prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah, you, and that's what you see going on. Everybody focuses more on uh, building up their army instead of like building up their, uh, their you know, the, uh, the agriculture. You know? Yep. They're focused sure. on, because they know that we're, like the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes, it's a time and a season for everything. Mm -hmm. time, we're in a time of war. We're not in a time of peace. We're not in a time of making America great again. We're in a time of America going down and, and war. Mm -hmm. again, man. America being destroyed, man. Yeah. Because the only time that, the only time that, every time that America has been to war, it was, what happened with the economy? It was, there was a recession. The economy was going down. It was bad. And they had to yep. go to war in order to make money. Mm -hmm. And that's where they at again. The same thing is that the same exact thing. Nothing new under the sun. That's right. Economically, America's done. All right. So they have to. They don't have a choice now. They have to. They gotta go to war. Yep. Just like just like the um the Roman Empire, man, which in which the same devils, these same Edomites, were were ruling, man. They went down. They went down the same exact way. And this is a, a extension of the Roman Empire, man. With these same with these same devils, all right, uh, uh, living out their last days, okay, as uh, uh, as 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 kings, man, okay, as being as being kings as um, being kings in there in in the, um with in basically in, in this on this side, you know, in Babylon, basically like Second Ezra six and nine, Esau is the end of the world, so this is his heaven, this is his rulership, so this is pretty much Esau's last. Stand in his rulership, man, and he's fallen. Okay, he's completely feeble. He's exhausted. He's gassed out. Hey, man, he don't have no spirit, man. He's he he's he's not an Israelite. Okay, and the Most High is definitely not with them. Okay, and the Lord and, and the Lord is putting the spirit on these other nations to come up against them, man. You know. Uh, uh, I'll finish up the rest of the article because it's almost done. All right, go ahead, bro. Uh, yeah, this back in the article. Uh, I'll start off where I left off. A day after Trump reneg renegade, uh, reneged. <laughs> oh yeah, reneg reneg After the day after Trump reneged on the international, internationally acclaimed agreement, Israel hit a Syrian army position in the. Kishwe, Kishwe area south of Damascus, Israel has been claiming that Iran is setting up bases of operations in Syria in order to stage attacks against the Jewish state. It has launched numerous airstrikes against Syrian government-controlled territories, targeting alleged Iranian positions. The Golan Heights in the south southwestern Syria have been occupied by Israel since the six-day Six Day War of 1967 and are internationally recognized as a Syrian territory. Sure. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on the article. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, man, like we was mentioning, man, you see, it's pretty much, hey, the least of the fuck is drawing them out, man. Yeah. And that's exactly what's happening, man. These these, these rats, they're not going to wait on America to go to war because they know that the America ain't going to pop it off. So, they, they got to. <laughs> yes, sir. They tired of it. Yeah. They, they yeah. Like, we told you, we've been telling you to get on them about doing this and that. Oh, you don't want to <laughs> do it fast enough for us. We just going to do it anyway. You got to back us up. Yep. They confident in that, that America is going to back them up regardless. That's why they so reckless. Yeah. That's right, man. It goes in the prophecies. Hand in hand in the prophecies. Yeah, man. His pride, man. His pride is going, going to lead him into his destruction, man. Like the scriptures say, man, pride come up before uh, before a downfall. All right, mm -hmm. 
You know, Esau's a proud devil, especially them Amalekites, man. The Amalekite tribe, uh, you Edomites, man. You're 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 the you're the worst of of, of the uh, of your nation. Okay, you know, yeah. The Lord is gonna put the spirit on you, Amalekites, to get this thing popping off, man. To bring to bring the rest of Esau into the, into this war, man. To get this thing popping off. This is uh we close on this. This is Isaiah nine and five. For every battle of the warrior is with confu uh, with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel fire. That's the missiles. And you clearly see that mm -hmm. the skirmish, the, war, the skirmish is already going on. They not, they not shooting guns or bullets at each other. They shooting missiles. Yeah. They ain't gotta go nowhere. You can just press buttons all day. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And that's exactly what they doing. They just pressing buttons, shooting missiles, and talking shit talking behind. Shit. You know, talking shit on on the camera or on, on in in the media. Yeah. You know, throwing sanctions on on motherfuckers. You know, shooting off missiles, man. They ain't gotta see each other face to face no more to go to war. You can just press a button. Yep. Just go on about your day and press a button, and then tweet about it or talk some shit about it. Get on the news. Yep. They don't have to pull up on you. You know, just like in the ancient time when you we literally had to pull up for war. Yep. All right. Nowadays, you all you gotta do is like the brother said, man, a push of a button. All right. You know, knowledge being increased, like it tells you in Daniel the twelfth chapter, chapter, man. The Lord, hey man, the Lord uh, uh, using these uh, these giving the knowledge unto Esau, okay, to to build these missiles and and in terms sharing this knowledge with the rest of the nations to do the same, if not uh, better, just so uh, just just to destroy Babylon, okay, just to destroy Esau and his rulership, you know. Yeah, man. Hey, man. So, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and close out. Hopefully, it was edifying towards towards you, brothers, man. Towards the account. Once again, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukal Kudash. All right, double honors to our apostle and elders, a great millstone, and Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukal Kudash, Rukal Dhamma to elect out there. All right, Shalom.